Good morning everybody, Georgia here. Um, today I am going to taste test zero carb everything bagels. The ingredients are wheat protein isolate, vital wheat gluten, oat fiber, modified wheat starch, flaxseed meal, olive oil, chicory root, yeast, chopped onions, poppy seeds, sesame seeds, minced garlic, salt, apple cider vinegar. That's it. <clears throat> it is zero carbs, obviously, and it says to, once opened, refrigerate two weeks or freeze. So I guess in the refrigerator it lasts two weeks and the freezer could last a few months, I'm guessing. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and try these out. Be right back. So before I cut this up and stick it in the toaster, I thought I'd show you guys what it looks like. It looks like a real bagel. Completely. It's the same size and everything as a real bagel. They don't come cut in half for you though. You have to do that for yourself. So, be right back. Okay, I only made half of one, just in case I didn't like it. I didn't want to waste the cream cheese. So here goes. That's good. Um, it doesn't taste eggy like the ones we make homemade ourselves. It's the same exact texture as a regular bagel. Same everything, pretty much. I can't think of anything different about it than a regular bagel. So yeah, I would say this is definitely worth the money. Um, I handpicked everything I ordered from Thin Slim Foods. I'm going to be taste testing the elbow pasta later tonight for my dinner and then also um, some muffins and two different cookies the reason i didn't want um the sampler pack is because it came with their bread and i've already seen many reviews on the bread and pretty much nobody likes the bread very much everyone says you have to put it in the toaster for it to taste good at all but it still doesn't taste like bread so and also i don't see a reason to buy their bread, which is super expensive, when you can anyone can buy um, Nature's Own 40 Calorie Delight bread, wheat bread, and it's only eight carbs per slice. So if you're like me and you save all your carbs for dinner, you can have a hamburger or a huge fully loaded sandwich with that bread and only use 16 carbs, and then you'd have you know, nine left to use for whatever you want. Either the stuff you put on the sandwich, like a slice of tomato is probably only one carb. That's the only thing I think of that you put on a sandwich that would have carbs in it. So you still have like eight more carbs for a dessert. Like you could eat some Magic Spoon cereal for dessert or have yourself a diet root beer float with the Halo Top ice cream or have your candy bars, your Atkins bars, stuff like that. So yeah, if you didn't know about Nature's Own 40 Delight Bread, you should check that out. You can get it anytime at the grocery store. So I hope I'm not forgetting anything about the bagels. I'm going to go ahead and finish eating this. And you guys have a good day and I hope you enjoyed my video.